The final individual cleaning and maintenance kit for the M1 rifle includes a M10 cleaning rod, a cleaning rod case, small arms bore cleaning brush, lubricant case, rifle grease container, and a chamber brush. This can be stored in the stock of the M1 rifle less the chamber cleaning brush. The M10 cleaning rod consists of four rod sections with a handle and a patch holder. A plastic buffer attached to one section of the cleaning rod was added to later manufacturer cleaning rods. Ensuring the rifle is unloaded and safe is the first step to any disassembly or maintenance. When cleaning the chamber with the M10 cleaning rod, first screw the M10 cleaning rod together, less the patch holder. If a rod section includes a buffer, it must be the section screwed into the rod handle. Insert the cleaning rod all the way into the bore. Then insert two patches, dampened with cleaner, about halfway through the slot of the patch holder and flare them out. Insert the patch holder with the wet patches into the chamber, threaded end first. Push the patch holder into the chamber until it touches the cleaning rod. Hold it there with one hand and screw the cleaning rod and the patch holder together. Pull the patches to the chamber and at the same time turn the rod clockwise to clean the chamber. The patches are then removed in the reverse order. To clean the chamber with a chamber brush, screw a section of the M10 cleaning rod into a threaded hole of the driver ratchet. Then place the brush into the chamber of the barrel. Allow the rifle bolt to close slowly against the end of the driver ratchet. Using the rod section as a handle, rotate the driver clockwise and counterclockwise to loosen and clean residue from the chamber. To clean the bore with the antenna cleaning rod, saturate the bore brush with cleaning compound and insert the bore brush into the chamber. Threaded end first. Insert the assembled cleaning rod into the bore and holding the brush in the bore with one hand, screw the brush onto the rod. Pull the brush through the bore. Remove the brush and repeat the procedure as necessary. To clean the bore with the patch holder, place one patch, dampened with bore cleaner, in the patch holder and insert it into the chamber. Insert the cleaning rod into the bore and holding the patch holder in the bore with one hand, screw the patch holder onto the rod. Pull the cleaning rod through the bore. Repeat this procedure using as many patches as required. The screwdriver blade of the M10 cleaning rod handle can be used to unscrew and tighten the gas cylinder lock screw. A rod section is placed through the hole in the handle, creating a T-handle for additional leverage.
Additionally, it can be used on the other screws of the rifle as well. The M10 cleaning rod handle may also be used to disassemble the bolt without being removed from the rifle to replace a broken extractor, ejector, or firing pin. Start by attaching a cleaning rod to the M10 combination tool. Pull the bolt to the rear. Then insert the screwdriver blade of the M10 combination tool into the chamber. Allow the bolt to close slowly. The protruding blade of the cleaning rod handle must be to the right so that it will fit under the extractor. Force the operating rod handle forward to compress the ejector spring and rotate the cleaning rod handle, unseating the extractor. A thumb over the extractor prevents the extractor from popping out. The extractor can then be removed. Slowly move the bolt to the rear, allowing the ejector spring to expand. Then remove the ejector. If it is necessary to remove the firing pin, the barrel and receiver group must be separated from the stock group. Then, after the extractor and ejector have been removed, the firing pin will fall out to the rear if the barrel is tilted up. If the barrel is tilted up while the bolt is disassembled, the firing pin will fall out the rear of the bolt and the receiver group will need to be separated from the stock group to replace the firing pin. To assemble the bolt while it is in the rifle, first replace the firing pin if it was removed and then assemble the rifle groups, ensuring the firing pin remains in the bolt. Pull the bolt to the rear and replace the ejector spring side first then replace the extractor. Place the screwdriver blade of the M10 combination tool into the chamber in the same manner used for disassembling the bolt. Push forward on the operating rod handle, compressing the ejector spring and pushing the extractor down until it is seated. Rotating the cleaning rod handle may help in aligning the ejector and extractor. The cap for the oiler includes an applicator, allowing for specific placement of oil drops. On the opposite side of the oiler is a compartment for storing the handle of the M10 cleaning rod. For storage, the threaded ends of the swab holder and bore brush are placed in either end of the plastic spacer. Then the swab holder and bore brush, along with the four cleaning rod sections, are stored in the cleaning rod case. With the rod handle stored in the oiler case, a patch can be placed in the case as a filler to deaden sound. The cleaning rod case can then be stored in the upper recess hole of the buttstock trap. The loose end of the case can then be folded over the rod sections and the grease pot inserted. The oiler case can then be stored in the lower recess hole of the buttstock trap. Cleaning patches can be inserted in the trap to fill the space and deaden sound. Ensure to pack a minimum number of patches to keep the butt plate cap closed.
With this kit, the individual can perform basic cleaning and maintenance of the rifle. Thanks for watching! If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description, or you can become a subscriber on Utreon. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyfirearms.com.